my wife buys some clothes, uh, if she buys something expensive and treats herself, she looks at it in terms of cost per wear. So that is to say that if she buys something cheap, she never wears it. It's no better value than buying something expensive and wearing it often. I thought that would be a good way to translate to some of my projects and things. Uh, certainly that little inflatable boat that I've got, the little, it looks like a hockey puck with a little outboard on it, cost me 200 bucks. And I decided I was gonna rent it to myself, 50 bucks every time I use it. Basically, I've only got to use the thing four times and I don't have to worry about what it costs me or what I do with it after that. I reckon a day's entertainment for 50 bucks, yeah, pretty good. You try and find it. Um, and in the similar way, I'm gonna look at this boat. Now, in terms of entertainment, I don't necessarily mean out on the water, you know, sipping wine or whatever it else, you know, chasing the wind or anything like that. I actually just mean now, I'm happy. Um, I'm, there's the electric sort of hanging out listening to Rush, pulling some old electrics out of a boat. This is my idea of fun. And I'm knocking $50 off the price of the boat for keeping me occupied on this Sunday afternoon in a pleasant way. I can't think of anywhere I would rather be. Uh, I've had a wonderful couple of hours stripping out wiring and what else have I got there? Some curtain rails. So let me show you around. Oh, 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 oh. One thing I do not need is privacy. I think give a damn. Have a look through the windows, knock yourself out. If you manage to sell what you see, cut me in. Um, so wiring's gone. Uh, I've moved the table. The little table sides are just there. And the reason being is because I have been advised to get this off. And that is the top. Let me show you from the side. This is, this here is a keel box. Inside this is a big lump of metal that slides down, sorry, pivots. On this I presume, because that's a big bolt. Drops down. Let me jump over to the side and show you. There we go. Can't see it, it's inside this box. I'm popping over to show you the mechanism for lifting this heavy lump of steel back up again. Now, if I'm lucky, this lump of steel, I'll just turn rush down. If I'm lucky, this lump of steel is gonna be galvanized um, because it won't have rusted. And a little bit of rust is not a problem, but if it's, this boat's 50 years old, and if it's steel, and not galvanized, what can happen, and I'm told happens regularly, is that this keel box splits, oh sorry, preceding that, the keel, the unprotected keel swells because it rusts, and the swelling keel inside the keel box busts the keel box open, which basically forms a hole in the middle of the boat, enabling it to sink. Um, so this box here needs to be watertight. If it's not watertight, yeah, you're going long. Water's going to be spilling out of this while you're sat at the back, not realizing, ah, my cabin's full of water. So, <clears throat> bugs, lots of bugs. Um, let me put you there. Let me see if you can see. I'm going to try and rip this top off. I've looked and it seems pretty loose, so I'm going to give it a bit of a wang. Hey. Hey, you coming? Come on, come on. Oh, you beauty. I say you beauty. What are we gonna find? <laughs> okay. Oh, that just looks okay. Right, let's move that. To That is my keel. This big, oh, and that looks galvanized. It certainly doesn't look like it's swelling and pushing the keel box out. In fact, that's for sure, that's just absolutely fine. Oh, that's a win. Yep, a 
can see daylight down there. So yeah, keel box looks secure. Look, it wants resealing. You know, there's some gunk. All of this thing wants resealing. Okay. Yes, I am very pleased with that. Um, got some rope. I think that's for helping the keel to drop. Though I have to say, <laughs> if a big lump of steel like this doesn't drop of its own accord, then there's a big problem. I'm liking the look of this. Uh, I just flipped over to the side. Now, this is the steel wire that's holding it up. And this proceeds um, Dyneema rope, which I'm going to replace it with. And we've got a lot of pulleys here to make the job easier. And let me put you down just there for a second. Come on, Rupi. Right then, let's see if I can set you where you can see that. I don't really know. Where are you? Oh, I tell you, that's not bad. Yeah, okay. Let's set you there. Right. Still see me? Okay, I am going to let the keel drop. <laughs> Go on, keel. Down. Now presume which is of course as we all know the mother of all cock-ups presumption that is. Okay well I'm going to presume that it is now sat on the trailer. I never bother getting out the boat to see just exactly how much gap there was between the boat and the keel. I just wanted to let it drop so that I could get rid of this old rope that's, I mean frankly it's just about to give it up anyway. That's just all crap. I'm just sitting, looking and having a think about me box here that I don't find overly daunting. Looks like it's pretty thick actually that box does. Um, and I'm just scraping off some old silicon as is normally the case and I'm always looking at screw holes and things like that and imagining what might have been once there now some screw holes along the side here and I didn't remove them and uh, nothing was screwed in there but I can see lines of something that was let's say markings of something that was screwed in here so I'm going to more than assume I'm going to put a piece of timber between there and there a block to fit in there to allow these sides to clamp to it screwed through the side and to allow the top there the tabletop to screw down into it uh, and I'm sure that's how it will have been made in the first place. You can see it, if you look down its length, you can see it sort of bowing out a little bit, not massively, and yeah, not too difficult. So yeah, you, I, I saw someone on um, the page saying, oh, I've got to get my box in and it's going to cost me $5,000. You're going to love my channel. You're going to love my channel because I don't know. I don't know where you get five grand out of that. I really don't. You know, I'm looking at this thinking, oh, okay. Um, maybe yours is more knackered than mine, something like that. But I can't see five grand's worth of work, and I can't see anything overly difficult either. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is beginner's optimism or something like that. But I just can't see it. That just doesn't look overly difficult to fix be waterproof and, and put back together for less than five grand. 
Shoot, I, I'm, I'm hoping to get this whole boat up and going for less than five grand. I get the feeling that most of this boat refurb is going to be just getting rid of lots and lots of um, sealant that's been thrown over to uh, hide leaks and things and, and rot and that kind of stuff. And I think that's the right way to do it. I don't want to hide the crap. I want to expose it, fix it properly. Uh, this is a problem that I've spotted and this um, post here, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, top of it is the mast. So this is under the mast post. Um, so it supports all the weight of the mast above it and transfers it down to the bottom of the boat. The other thing that this post does is the big keel is winched up from under the boat like that. So there's the keel hanging down and it is dragged up here on this mast post. And I can see, let's pop this in here so you can see too. It is delaminating. Oh, there we go. Sorry. You guys don't get seasick anyway. So there we go. Now I'm not overly worried because it just isn't a big deal. Um, I shall remove the post, split it apart completely, rough the faces up, glue it back together and put it back in. That's that's what this most of this is going to be about. Of course, it's rainy, but I don't care. Not surprisingly, it's kind of nice and dry in here. That's it. I'm done for today. I'm going to go and get some coffee. Just taken off the steel wire that's going to hold up that up and taking just giving this a bit of a scrape, giving it a bit of a scrape on the other side. Uh, and it would probably be remiss of me to let the day pass without saying happy anniversary to my wife. Happy anniversary wife. Uh, she's put up with me for 24 years. If she'd have killed me she'd be out next year. <laughs>